Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making the Winter Wishes tag, and this was created by Bethany or Makeup Barbie 07. She's an awesome beauty guru, so you guys go ahead and check her out. I will leave her channel link down below so you guys can check her out. And also, I'll leave her channel, um, not her channel, her channel link and the video, like the video link that she did. And this is like an awesome tag. It has 12 questions, and it's kind of makeup and then kind of personality personality and stuff so um if you guys don't know this is going to be my new setup because a lot easier to film here because there's a lamp right here and the natural lighting is right here and then my makeup is right there so i can just easy access everything instead of having to carry everything to there to there where sometimes um the lighting isn't as good because the windows um they're like at different angles i guess you can say and so the lighting goes in really weirdly, but right now it's like 6 and it's super dark outside, so there is no natural lighting, but that's okay because I have my light on, um, those lights on, and then that lamp on, which I know I'm wasting so much light or electricity, but um, I have the questions on my phone right now, and as I said, there are 12 questions, and I will leave the questions also down below along with my vlog channel link down below and along with my Twitter, <laughs> Twitter link down below. Would you guys check that out? Um... So, yeah. By the way, if you guys do this, um, leave it as a video response, like, down below. Like, I really want, I like, th seeing these enough, literally have watched every single one that there's out there right now. So, yeah, please do this and leave it as a video response. So, that's everything that I wanted to say. Let's go ahead and get started. Question number one is, what is your favorite nail polish or winter nail polish? My favorite, I have four actually. First is this one, and this is the Revlon or the Sally Hansen, and this is in Why Not. This is the salon line. So this is the um, Why Not color, and it's so pretty. Like, the color is really, like, a really, really dark, rich red, and it has, like, a little shimmer, like, a lot of shimmer in it. Um, I'm not allowed to wear red nail polish on my nails, but I'm allowed to wear on my feet and stuff. So I, like, I'm obsessed with this color for the Christmas time, and, um really really cute color and if you guys want me to do the 25 days before christmas or if you guys want me to do the 12 days before for christmas leave as a comment down below on my vlog channel so um no leave if you guys just leave a comment um on this channel saying saying if you want me to do the 25 or the 12 um but i will film those on my vlog channel so because a lot of you guys don't know because I haven't put the link up on my video, on my actual before video that I said my log. Okay, yeah, I haven't put the link up for my log channel so you guys probably all don't know or what it's called. But, um, yeah, because I don't know which one I should do. I like vlogging a lot so I might do the 25, I don't know. So comment what you guys think. But, um, this is a really, really, really deep red. And then this one is a Revlon and Top, top Speed and Varnished. Um, these are like... I don't know, this looks like a poop color to me, but, like, when you put it on your nail, it's, like, a chrome effect, um, but, like, if you look in the light, it, like, it's, like, there's a nice green undertone to it, um, but there's, like, basically it's overtaken by the gray, because there's, like, a lot of gray, um, undertones to it, but really, really pretty color, and sometimes it looks like poop, depends on the lighting that you're in, but, um, I really, really like this color, and... I, like, I can't wait to put this on, because it's super pretty, it's super dark, too. It's not super dark, but, like, you know what I mean, it's too dark to put on for, like, the summer time. Next is this one, and this is, I think, you can only get from, like, New York or something. I don't know if you can get it online or anything. Um, BSN or something like that, and it, this is in green stone, and this color is so pretty. Look at that. Um, the color is amazing, and... The color payoff, like, you need one coat of this because <laughs> two coats, you'll be, like, a, or an ornament, basically. Um, really, really pretty color. Nice green Christmas color. And, um, I, like, I'm obsessed with this color so much. I, I use it all. I used it a lot last year. And I got this, I think, two years ago or last year. Maybe last year I got it from. Or I think it was two, last year or two years ago. I'm not sure. But I, whenever I go back, I'm going to go to that same place I went to. It's, like, this little mini mart or whatever. I don't know what it's called. Um, and get another one because I'm almost out of this. Um, and I got a purple one too, but oh, also got purple blue. Um, but um, I like this one the best for Christmas. And the last one is this OPI, and I'm sorry, this is so much. Tickle My France, and it's like a nude color. It's not light nude because light nudes don't look good on me because of my skin tone because I'm a lot darker than um, 
Like, I know AK doll she wears this really pretty nude color, but that nude color would look really weird on me. Really loud airplane because of my skin tone is a lot darker than hers, but this was a little darker and it suits me and my skin tone a lot better. It's tickle me, tickle my friends. Um, as I said, it's really, really, really good. And I got this I think for like eight dollars, but like it was worth it because OPI nail polishes are amazing. And um, I've only used this once in like the whole time I've had. It. I think I got it like two months ago or something. I don't know. Uh, I think I included this in my Target haul, I'm not sure. But I really, really like this color, it's amazing, and those are my favorite nail polish, and I'm still on number one, I think I've talked for like 10 minutes already. Number two is, what is your favorite winter lip product? I have actually two again. First is the Lip Scrub from Lush, and then the EOS Lip Balm in Raspberry Pomegranate. This is the Popcorn Lush, but as you guys know, clumsy me, I like let the Lush thing drop, I was brushing my teeth, and I smacked my hand, I don't know what I had, I like spaz attack. Um, and it fell on the floor, and it, like, cracked, and so I don't want to take any risks or anything, like, if something did happen, I'll, everything would spill, so I just depotted it into here, and, um, I have only, I think I, that, I think it was the first time that I got it that day, um, my friend actually got it for me, but, um, yeah, it's just the popcorn, it smells just like popcorn, I don't think this is edible, but I really wouldn't eat it anyways, because it smells like popcorn, and it's, it's like not really, really popcorn, but it's there's sugar, so the scent and the actual taste wouldn't go good with my stomach, so I don't, I just like leave it on for a little bit and then wash it off, but really, really good, and I think the color got a lot lighter, because I, I remember being a lot darker, maybe because of the bottle, I don't know, um, but I'm obsessed with this, and then I like to seal the moisture in with the EOS. This is actually, I got two days, two days ago, I think a week ago or something, or like on Monday, and, um, this is like the raspberry pomegranate winter one that they have out, the new one, and I was like so excited when I saw this, really, really cool, and I saw Madison Rose Beauty one, she had this, I was like, oh my gee, I'm just kidding, but I really, really like this, and um, hopefully they don't discontinue it, because there was like two, there was like the Christmas, and then they were like the same exact flavors, but there was like a Christmas packaging, and then the normal packaging, so I think they're going to keep it forever, like the actual, I think they, they might, I think they're going to keep it because they had the normal packaging in the Christmas, so I think it was like Christmas scent, um, but it's going to be like for their continuous line, so I'm obsessed with this already, and this makes your lips super, super, super smooth, and uh, if you guys want me to do a review on the EOS lip balms, leave it also as a video response or a comment down below. Or, like, just like this video if you guys think I should do a video response, a, a review on the EOS lip balm, because I have, like, three or four. So, yeah, that's number two, I think, or number three. Number two. Number three is, what is your most worn winter clothing piece? And it would have to be these two things. First are my fuzzy, fuzzy pants, and these I wear all the time. I have two pairs of them currently, and I want to eat footy pajamas at um, the store today, but they were like $20, and I'm just going to wait a little bit till they get, like, lower because I know that they're going to have, like, Black, Black Friday sales, and after Black Friday, the sale's going to be, like, really low. Um, but I'm going to wait because I really want footy pajamas. But these are just, like, really soft, and I like the ones that are, like, large at the foot and stuff, and they're that... They're not really tight on me. Um, I really like these. I have the blue ones, and then I have these, but I really like this. And then also are these, or, or this, this jacket. It's like an old baby I got from New York, like, a, a, I think last year, and I think this was $60, $70 or something. But, um, excuse me, Um, it's, like, flowery in the inside, and it's, like, nice wool in the outside. It has a belt, and then it has buttons and a sleeve. It's just all the way down. I like this anytime I wear jeans or, like, I like to wear these with my Nine West boots because it looks so, like, fancy. Fancy and sophisticated. Um, I'm obsessed with this jacket, and I really, really like it. So that's number three. Number four is, what is your most worn winter accessory? And it would have to be these slippers, and these slippers are, like, the best. Bomb.com. I got these two years ago, actually. No, one year ago when I went to, um... New York, actually, too, and these are, like, soft, they're, like, grip, um, soft slippers, and there's, like, sandals, I hate the ones that you can just put your whole foot into, because it makes my feet sweat, um, but these are super, super cute, and they're, like, a size 4 or 5 or something, and these, like, are really big on me, though, but, like, my feet, like, reach up to there, because my feet are super small, like, I have the smallest feet in the world, um, I really like these, and I like wearing these when I get out of the shower, and, like, the weird thing is that it gets wet, but it, like, dries in two seconds. It's, like, amazing. But it's fox fur, by the way, because, like, it's not real zebra. Just kidding. Who would believe that? Um, and you know what I mean. It's not, like, real fur and stuff. But, yeah. 
Um, that's number four. Number five is what is your favorite winter scent or candle? I don't have any candles because I'm not allowed to burn. And my wallflower just finished and I didn't know I was going to do this video so I threw it away. But I like this pink sugar plum and winter candy apple, vanilla bean noel, marshall fireside, um, fresh pink pomegranates and stuff from Bath and Body Works. My favorite would have to be my favorite three Christmas scents would have to be Pink Sugar Plum, which I actually have the bottle from last year, which I actually just ran out of like two weeks ago or something. But I really like this. Also, Winter Candy Apple and Vanilla Bean Noel. Those are my three all-time favorites winter scents. I haven't gone to the Bath and Body Works store yet because I've just been really lazy. But when I do, I'll probably be like obsessed with those um, three scents, and I'll probably get like two of the Winter Candy Apple because. I'm so excited for the Hello Yellow sale because their sales are amazing. So I really, really like Pink Sugar Plum, Pink Sugar Plum from Bath and Body Works. Number seven, six is what is your favorite winter beverage? Mine would have to be um this. Well, it's not eggnog, by the way, guys, because I don't like eggnog. Um, this is carnation milk or whatever. Like you know what that means? Carnation Essentials. It is pretty expensive. Um, we went to the Sam's Club like a. Like, I think I've had this for, like, since, like, mm, I th I'm going to say August. Like, the big box, and it expires, like, in two years. But, um, it's, like, Carnation Essentials, um, Breakfast Essentials, that's what it's called. And, basically, you just put it in milk. It's, like, a powder, and it's basically all your nutrients you're going to need for breakfast. If you don't have any time, you just put it in, like, a, your milk in a mug and then pour the packet into it. It just tastes amazing. It just basically tastes like vanilla milk basically but it's so good for you on the box it has all the nutrients and in the back it's like one cup of that was like worth um two cups of orange juice or like one egg with a toast and stuff it's amazing and it's really good also these starbucks vanilla bean or the starbucks with peppermint mocha or something like that um just any other peppermint because i love peppermint like i'm obsessed so yeah those are my favorite christmas scents or beverages number seven is what is your all-time favorite christmas holiday movie and um my favorite christmas holiday movie would have to be like what is it called santa claus is coming to town or um escape of santa claus or santa claus escape escape because i have those on vcr because i like got them a really long time ago and i got they only had them in vcr and i really like those movies so i am obsessed with those i like watch them I can't wait for the ABC Marathon to come on because it's, like, amazing. So, yeah, number eight was your favorite Christmas holiday song, and that would have to be Santa Baby by Taylor Swift. I think that's, like, the best version of it. I don't know why anyone else likes the other version, but I'm going to actually look for it on my playlist right now. Okay, here it is. Um, I'm obsessed with this one. I don't like anyone else's. I don't know why. Here it is. Okay, that's it. That's like my favorite song for Christmas. I don't know. I just like her version a lot better than like anyone else's. Sorry. I keep playing it. Okay, next is number... Let me go find it again. Here it is. Number... Seven, eight, number eight, nine, number nine. What is your favorite holiday food or your treat? I like um, my mom's cheesecake, her classic New York cheesecake. I am obsessed with that, and she only makes it special occasions because it's like really unhealthy for you. Um, it makes you really fat, like if you eat a lot of it. So she only makes it for special occasions, like for birthdays or for New Year or for Christmas or for Thanksgiving. So those are, like the only celebrations that she actually makes that, and I'm like I cherish it like a lot. So I'm obsessed with that. Number 10 is, what is your favorite Christmas decoration this year? It would have to be my room, because we're not decorating a lot for Christmas outside, just because we're going to go on vacation, maybe. So, I actually, I have the, all the lights and um, stuff in the attic, but we're probably going to get down tomorrow, and um, I'll probably start decorating my room, and I need to go get a new tree, because my tr tree broke when I was trying to get it out the attic. That was, like, the only thing I was going to bring down, and I, like, slipped out of my hand, and the branches fell off, so I need to go to Target again and get another one. Um... So, I'm going to be, like, making a whole vlog on, like, decorating my room so you guys see how I decorate it, hanging my lights up and stuff. So, I hopefully can get that, maybe my tree, maybe Friday, because, like, tar tomorrow is going to be so hectic outside. Um, so, yeah. Number 
11 is what at, what's at the top of your Christmas list and I think at the top would have to be a good quality camera if not it would have to be the Nook HD because um, I decided to get the Nook HD not the Nook HD plus but I'm not gonna sell the tablet because my sister wants it so I'm gonna give it to her for a Christmas present so um, when I get my Nook HD actually because I just think that the Nook HD is so small and cute and I can't wait because no, no one's gonna have it at my school because everyone at my school Never mind, I'm not going to say it. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what's at the top. Number 12 is what are your plans for the holidays this year? Is probably spending time with my family, my friends, um, getting gifts, enjoying gifts, opening presents, and eating a lot of food. Um, actually, I'm going to start running soon because, like, not running, but, you know, like, not on the treadmill because, like, like, the treadmill is too much. But, um, you know, what, like, riding bicycles or, like, running outside of my neighborhood because... I don't want to get, like, big anything like that um, over this because I think my New Year's resolution will have to be, like, to lose, I think, maybe, like, 10 pounds. That's, like, my goal right there. So, um, or, like, five. I don't know. Don't take it the wrong way. Like, I'm not going to, like, no one's forcing me to go on a diet. But, like, you know what I mean. Um, but, yeah, those are all of the questions for the Winter Luscious Tag. Again, if you do this, make sure you guys leave it as a video response down below. I'm actually going to make a vlog really like after this on my vlog channel and I probably go on my computer and put the link of my vlog channel. Wait. My sister was calling me. But as I was saying I was gonna do a vlog on my channel and I'll probably go on my computer and put the link of my vlog channel um up on that video because I want you guys to check it out. So I will probably just be doing like a Christmas list um vlog and just randomly my very first vlog on that channel so I've <laughs> It's not going to be special or anything, guys. So, yeah, that is basically my video. And make sure you guys like this for this video if you guys want me to do, um, I forgot what that, what I was going to do. Stop. Back up. Um, oh, yeah, make sure you guys comment below if you guys want me to do the 25 days of Christmas or the 12 days of Christmas. And make sure you guys like this video for you guys want me to do the, um, I don't know, I forgot. Sorry, it, just watch the beginning of the video again, I guess. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy and like, subscribe, and check out all the links down below. Peace, love, adios, see you soon. Love you guys. Bye.